It's my competency defense and my name is Zoe Kao. And uh, first of all, I want to provide some basic information of me to you guys. Maybe someone is not that familiar with me. And I am in the G12 and I am a film student and I really want to apply for a few major in the college. And uh, now I'm preparing for my like application portfolio and this is the basic information. And in today's competency defense, I will first tell you why I selected for featured evidence and also second parts to talk about my understanding of specific MC. Yeah, first of all, let me show you a graph. Yeah, I know it seems, seems really uh, like not that it's complex, but it's easy to understand. Like this is few FEs, few PAs, like a few profiles, like they have econ essay, documentary made, mass gain, private club, and I use four criteria to accept, to access or to like to range or rank every every case I do and you must have a question like how do I select these four criteria? They are logical thinking, cooperation, execution and creativity because as you know like I'm a film student and I specifically really want to apply to a film college so I think this four criteria is really important for a film students and I will explain and I will explain them. First, it's about the logical thinking. Um, I'm not, uh, at the beginning, I think like our students don't need to have strong logical thinking, but after I direct my first film, I realized it's really important. First, as a director, you need to talk with each other and you need to use your logic to generate the best solution. And also, I know like my third one of my target school of my teachers, they really want to cultivate a director's writing basis, which means like you need to write scripts and uh, if they relate to write and you need to use your logical thinking ability to write something logically which can convince your audience. So it's a really important ability. Yeah, and next is about the cooperation. This is my first time directing my film and it's just like five minutes film but it's involved like more than 20 people in, the, in here. And film is never one person's art and you need to collaborate with different people. So it's definitely really important. And the next is about the execution. Why well, execution is important? It's like it's easy for one person to generate an idea. Everybody can generate thousand ideas every day, but it's important to make it into real. And it's really hard to make it into real. Like you will meet a lot of difficulties. So it's execution is execution is really important for a director to do this. So I think this might be important for show the university that that is important. And the last one is about the creativity. I think creativity is really important for everyone in the art area because like we need to create something and create some arts. So I think I need I will use these four criteria to like to range or rank my PAs. So according to this, just back to this chat, I will take econ essay as an example. Like I'm really proud of my economics essay and it has a high score here, but but I don't choose it. This case for my featured evidence because you can see, even though you have really high logical thinking, but it's not really creative to think. I think because it's a research based um, essay, so it's not really creative, so I don't think it's really good for my case. Yeah. Yeah, and. And so this is four things I chose for my for my featured evidence. They are philosophy essay. This is an essay I write. It's about this topic is really interesting. It's about cartography, contest art. I'm really interested about this topic because I think it's not it's not in, in China we are really don't like to talk about this. But I think this is a really interesting topic which should relate to philosophy and relate to uh, our daily life and. Also about the Crayfish Club. This in this club I devote my five years here, and you can see you know, it's not requires strong logical thinking, but uh, it's really requires execution, creativity, and cooperation. And HIMC is a mass mass modeling competition, and in this competition we need to finish one mass essay in like twelve days. So it's really important and really train my logical thinking. And because I'm the leader of this group, and so it requires high cooperation. And the final one is my Chinese drama play, and in this one, I feel we finish a range of play in like three days. And in this and in this assignment, I think I've done a really great job. So I put this four into my featured evidence, and I think 
this can strongly support my application for a film major. Yeah, and when I put it together, you can see it can build an image for the university. Like I am, I don't want to tell the university like I'm good at all the aspects, but I think for my major, I think I'm doing best in there. So I and I really want to build an image for them like I'm a logical and thoughtful female director. Female is really rare in this area. And when I direct my first film, like almost half, almost like there are 20 people, but like 15 more people are male and who is good at co collaboration and execution. And related to this, I think one MC is really matched with what I do. This MC is the project re and resource management and execution. You can see this is a school gave us this long sentence to explain what this MC are, but when I read it, I just abstract five steps and uh, I think it's what school you want us to do, and they can even just give that graph. It's like expectation for this project, and I need to have a plan, and the vision of work, and the first step is the execution, and the reflection is not on the rubrics, but I think it is really important for this MC because I think it is really helped me to learn from previous experience. And I will show you how do I use one project to explain my understanding of this MC and I will use Chinese drama play to demonstrate this. And the expectation at the beginning is really easy, I just want to make a play. And I use the graph that Ms. Angie gives us and I arrange every day what we should, what we should do and something like this. It's just a pen and about the division part, I simply send that the message to our team group to tell the actors what you are what you need to do and tell stuff what they need to do. And about the execution, this is for the stuff that you let them know what props the actor may need to use in what you sense and what the whole point background they should appear. And also this is a light for the light stuff, let them know like what which light should be appear at what time. Yeah, and this is our final product and this is the poster we made. And but after this project, I think the most important things I learned is from the reflection. Like when I did the reflection part, I just asked myself a question. It's like can I use this system or form when I encounter more complex questions or problems? I think you no, know, maybe I need to improve a lot because like you can see the previous project is not that complex. So I think I what I can, what can I do is to make what needs to be done more visible and make the prediction become more specific, not just simply make a play and make the division more accurate. Then I apply this into my own film project. It's still these five things but in different ways. In this time, the title is a big movie, but I make expectation of what I want the different sense look, different shots like, and I made some graph like this. Yeah, and this is uh, also a graph like I, I need to tell the camera map which I want and which which shot I want, and and different people need to arrange different scenes, and also find some visual reference. And this is from my favorite director, Roy Anderson's film, and that because I want to talk tell the art group what, 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 feature, what the result I really want. And after the expectation, then I need to go to the plan. Plan step, but plan step I will tell in the next, but first I will really tell the division. Because when I first encountered this project, I just thought it's easy, just about five minutes to feel. But after like I read script and talk with my instructor, he told me like I need to find a recorder, I need to find one, find people to do this, and I need to find actors, and I need to find an art group to fill an empty room, like we rent a house which is totally empty. We need to ask our art group and uh, as a result I, I asked my classmates to help me do this. And I need to find a cameraman because I don't know about the professional camera. I need to find a professional light. And I'm a freshman who enters this field. I don't have any connection with people who are in this field. And I think it's hard for me to begin, but I think the previous experience is really helped me to the previous experience is really helped me to like to do these things. And I can show you some 
trash. Like it's really hard for me. Like it's just gradually trash with each other and everything down this and everything is that as bad down like these things. And then it's about the execution. It's mainly it's related related to plan. Like I made this complex graph and to arrange different high what different people should do. Like this is our group and this photography group, the actors who charge for the uh, clothes and which which place they should appear and some reference here because make film is really expensive and every minute costs money. So I really wanted to like to do this inside of my budget. So I really need to make detailed things to tell everyone that you need to appear here at this time. And this is a, like some execution plan I made. Here another page, and I can show you a little bit. Do I have time? I have. I can show you a little bit about my view. Mm -hmm. uh, that's eight. It's, it's, yes. Mm -hmm. Just a trailer. Yeah. And when I back to the beginning, I just think everything just started like this. It's not even a Chinese drama play. It's a my drama club drama play. I just write a line inside there to tell different people to do different things. And gradually I know how to make graphs to tell the lights. And then gradually I can make this complex form to like to do the things. And these things it come like really step by step. I, I if I don't have previously experience, I cannot achieve that complex approach that. So back to this MC, my understanding of this MC is really step by step. And this is my understanding of project and resource management and execution. And about my next things I will do is first, I will attend the Wuzhen Drama Festival with the Chinese drama play I direct because I receive a lot of feedback and I think I can give a try for this. And also I need to add my own film because I just finished shooting, I need to add it yet, add sound, a lot of things. And also finish my capstone project, then prepare for my college application. That's all, thanks. Uh, 
uh, when the actors would come and how much money it would cost and how much time. Yeah. yeah, so is this a, did you create this yourself or is this a, a template you pulled from somewhere else? Or can you talk about how this came to be? I do this all by myself, but I reference some of others' crew because my crew is a little bit special and I cannot use the normal templates that they use on the film industry because this project is complex to me, but it's not that complex to them. So the graphs they use is more and more complex than this. But I abstract what they like they use and into my template. Like I like I don't know I need to add the sunrise time and the sun uh, and the sunset. I but they added and remind me like what time like if we need to start to show about the night night shot and we need to like beginning after one half an hour because that in the in that time the, the outside is totally dark and the, it's do not will like have some other lights to interrupt the shooting shooting place and they might do not add this and then maybe the project or schedule I wrong I like a plan will not be like goes as well as I expect. Yes, but I just learned this from others, but I just use my own ways to arrange it. Yeah. Yeah, and others they don't put different different group into different style and they maybe just generate different version for different group. But I think I just generate for them in one big form because it's kinda of easy for them to see what others do and maybe they can reference from others book to see what they can do. Uh, I really like how you value your PA you make that <laughs> yeah. background. Uh, and you show that uh, you are very well meaning your audience for directions. Uh, I just wonder how did you uh, value the execution? Because I see that your philosophy as a, as yeah. a uh, you, you, oh, uh, you give a very high okay. pay and for the econ as a yeah, the execution is according to the, how hard I need to achieve this or like for the philosophy essay because I'm, this essay is still in progress and I still need to improve and improve because like in philosophy there don't have a standard like you need to write it, it's so good but the, uh, like in econ like the teacher gave me really clear instructor like I need to add more data or add more reference and I achieve this so I think the execution is not that hard in this project but I think execution really hard in philosophy as a because like I need to do a lot of research and uh, I need to like philosophy don't have an end it's endless like I, I can still do better 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 so I think the execution is more complex in philosophy but it's not that complex in econ because they have standard line yeah okay so you choose this four criteria for supporting your application to the university and then we also know about that you need to submit a lot of material yeah. to advise the university. And yeah. also, I think about collaboration or execution, it also can be uh, shows in your art portfolio. Yeah. So, um, what do you think about a high school transcript yeah. can show what kind of person to university? Yeah, so I think in high school transcript, I need to show more academic things. Mm -hmm. So that is why I put the HRMCN, like the math essay mm -hmm. and philosophy essay. And so I think in the transcript, I show more academic things, but though I'm a film major, so I still need to show my ability that which things I'm good at or something I devote more time on it. I just want to show the things I think more valuable in my high school transcript. So I select these things and not all crackers, but also it's not related to my film, film application and it's not that academic. But these things I devote more than five years on here. And also I think the things we do is meaningful, like we did help some people to improve their situation or win or not win some more our words, but we indeed improve our, our ability a lot. So I think this project has strongly improved my ab ability like as a high school student. And also about the Chinese drama point, I think it's an inspiration. I don't use my own film as an individual life play because this will show as my art portfolio. So I use Chinese drama play because first is I do it in school and also I will still improve on this. Like I will attend the festival. And because but this festival is really competitive, I don't like have one like uh, a war, but I really want to have a try. So I put things like mm, they are really high academic, or I think they 
aiming for, or I think there has some space for me to improve. Okay. Yeah. Can you share with us what did you learn from preparing for this event? Ah, oh, okay. From what I learned from preparing is like first I don't imagine first at the beginning I don't use this to show you uh, to show you like to visualize what I think what I slap. But um, at the first I just simply put different and different pieces I down here and I just wanna use my use oral things to talk about you about you but uh, but I think sometimes pictures can show more like this you can drag it to see it and I think through this Defense. I really learned how to organize. Like I have a lot of things to say, but I need to organize what things I want to say in this ten minutes. So I really need to uh, use the limited time to talk everything I want. So it's really important. It's really improved my organize a bit. Yeah. So what's your next project? What are you going to do next? <laughs> oh, we have a like drama club, and it's beginning now. Beginning this Thursday, and like we will, uh, we will arrange a little drama play. Yeah, and the next project I haven't thought yet. For your own independent work. My independent work, I don't know. I haven't thought about it because now I'm really busy with my college application process, and also I run with my own film editing and about the Wuzhen festival. But after this thing to run down, I think I will go to travel, and I think I will. I really want to talk with different people because of the COVID, we still need, we need to in this uh, in control, but I cannot communicate with different people. Although I tend to the OIU online class, but I think I don't learn a lot from it because I think like I cannot directly talk with different people. And I really want to experience different lifestyle in different places. Like if I finish my application process, I think I will maybe travel for one month to a different place. Yeah. Maybe go to a town. Maybe go to a mountain and the two stay and read books. Yeah. Okay, so finish. Thank you.